I am so excited because I have two special people that I interviewed on this episode of Bigger 401 that you guys are going to be have a great time to see. I have two guests, and their names are Alberto Robasa, who is a great friend of mine, and as well as not only a mentor, but also he works on a lot of my music videos and a lot of my editing. So he is my director, producer, and editor. You guys are going to see it right here on Bigger 401 as I interviewed him on the Viva Latino Film Festival as I was having a great time watching uh, my film Silentious. And also you're going to have another special guest, his name is Christian A. Moran, who is the director and producer of Silentious, who also goes on to talk about his um, inspiration on doing Silentious and his new film called Let's Play Dead Girl, which you guys should also go to Indiegogo to promote. So let's move it on because it's Vega 411, what's going on? watching Vega 401 and before we begin to let the tape roll on me interviewing one of my great inspirational people who has also I've worked with so many years which is one is Alberto Robasa and who I previously worked on the film of Silentious um who I had the privilege to interview them so they are my two most special guests on Vega 401 I'm excited to having Alberto Robasa because you know, due to his hectic schedule, he is finally getting on in front of the camera to talk about uh, what he's been working on, as well as what we've been working on lately. And as well as director-producer of Silentious, who's also working on his new film called Let's Play Dead Girl. So, roll the tape, because it's Vegan 401, what's going on? Hope you enjoy. Thank you so for supporting. And make sure you like and subscribe this new YouTube channel and Facebook.com slash Vega 411 and Facebook.com slash jvega90. So, I got, so I'll see you soon. Thank you. This is Christian, director and producer of Silentious. Christian, I just want to say thank you for having me on this beautiful film, this interesting film. I just had a great blast. What was the whole um, idea of doing Silentious? What, what came into your mind to say I'm doing this? Uh, I wanted to do something personal. Um, you know, uh, age, I think it was uh, 16, I was bullied. So I wanted to take something personal and do it, you know, um, do it all over. Uh, something that, you know, has some emotion behind it and not just do any kind of film. So making a silent film that, you know, deal, dealt with bullying, which everybody can understand. Mm -hmm. You know, you told me one time when we were doing uh, our auditions, you told me that one time it was very hard. Yeah, you know, it was very, it was very hard to even, for me as an actor to do a silent film because I'm so used to like all oh, talking, so it's to have the emotion out there was very interesting because it it, get, it created the essence of most of what the film actually would have been about, and to have it here is such a blessing. I'm so glad. To I know. Be with you. I didn't know just that we're just uh, two Latinos. I know two Latinos. Because there's so many people there, so yeah. many Latinos that could be in these film festivals. So and lots of pride, lots of pride. I know, I know. <laughs> so, and you're also working on another film. Oh, let's yeah. play Dead Girl. Tell, yes. tell uh, little, uh, people about more about that. What's that? Uh, let's play Dead Girl is about um, Slenderman. Uh, it's about the, the case that happened in Wisconsin. Two 12 year old girls uh, yeah. planned a murder for four months, and that's my next feature. And, what, and then you're already in production. As yes, I'm now? in production. I finally cast yesterday all the actors and everything. And right now we're doing the fundraising. And yes. You should go to Indiegogo yes. uh, to Let's Play Dead Girl. Find us there and you know, contribute yes, to our yes. campaign. Thank you so much, Christian. And also, we have also uh, Mama Blandino, who's also in the Oh, yeah, get her to have Mama Blandino to come in here because she was also my mother in the film, Miss Silentious. Here she is. <laughs> so, hi. so, Mama Blandino, thank you so much for being here on Vega 411. Tell me your experience on being part of the film. How was it? And what did Christian tell you? He said, Oh, I need a mother in the film. How did he present it? You can do it. Yes, and she was part of the film. She was watching how nice, like the novella scene. If you haven't seen the film, you gotta catch it out. And I was just like so over it. But it was a good uh, film. I love it. She was so thank into the character. Yes, thank you for being with you. I'm so excited to be with you. Now we'll finally get to show a little bit of This is so amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, 
So tell me about the boss. Your first time here. Okay. How was your experience being here and seeing? Uh, it's a wonderful experience. I mean, I've waited a long time to see things like this, and it's finally overcoming. And I'm looking forward to many more. So, what is it that have you been working on that you've been inspired to come to the biggest event like this? What have I been working on? Yeah, what have you been working on that inspired you to do something like films and music videos? Just music videos mostly. I mean, I'm working on a new season. Someone that's